Hey guys, this is Katie the Messy Soaper at Royal Appleberry, and I am coming with the cutting of, um, <laughs> never forget the name of this fragrance. Oh, uh, Awapuhi Seaberry. Um, I was going to give it a different name. I'm sure I still will. I just haven't thought of anything. So, I wanted to go ahead and get this cutting video in here. I just got home from work a little bit ago, and this has been sitting for two days just because I kind of, I'm learning to leave myself slow. I get so excited. I just want to cut them immediately, but it's just better to let them sit for a couple of days. So let's see what's cooking on the inside. And guys, oh my goodness. Um, I did, uh, another batch of my signature soap, my Royal Appleberry and oh, I had the worst seeds ever. Let me tell you the worst. And I'm just like, I just don't even know what to do here. I mean, it was just like rock hard and I just kept beating it and beating it and beating it. And guys, <laughs> that's how it turned out amazing. I just can't believe how gorgeous it is. I'm going to show you just because I didn't do a cutting video and I'm not going to, I didn't do a making video just because I've made this soap so many times, but, um, I have to show you this most definitely. I'm going to put it on my Instagram. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you'll get to see all of them. These are absolutely gorgeous. Would you look at that? <laughs> Can you believe? I mean, if you would have saw what it looked like when I was trying to make it, it was just disastrous. And I was just so, I just thought it was a done deal. I thought maybe I was going to have to rebatch this one, but it turned out really, 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 really nice. So I'm like very pleased with the way these turned out. And these most definitely will be going up in my shop as soon as they cure out, which will be in about six weeks because I had to add a lot of water to these to get them to behave, you know, just even a little bit. So it'll probably be a full six week of cure time for those. Okay, so now that I showed you those lovelies, let's get on to this one. So I just cut the end off and this is the little end. And if you remember, I I tried to pour most of it down the middle, but it thickened up. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be just all the color in the middle because I kind of wanted it white on the sides and mostly color in the middle all the way through up and down. But I think this is going to turn out really nice. And this one has firmed up very, very nicely. So... You should be seeing this in my shops in about four weeks. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. Yeah, I do like the way that looks. It's just, it's not one of my, you know, normal pow and swirl crazy everywhere. But it's just a beautiful soap. It's very classic looking. And I love that gold glitter. Oh, I love the gold glitter. It's absolutely beautiful. And I was supposed to make room for this soap, but I totally forgot. So I have another one sitting over there. So... I'll just set these on the table until I am ready to put them away. Sorry about the sniffling. All of a sudden, when I decide to film, my nose decides it wants to run. Yeah, that is very pretty. And it's just, oh, this fragrance is so fresh. And when I say fresh, it's like, mmm, Gabe. Gabe. Okay, he's ignoring me. I don't think he can hear me. <laughs> but um, I was going to have him smell it. Yeah, smell this. Tell me what you think. What does it smell like to you? It smells perfumey. You think so? A little bit. Yeah, it kind of has like a, a, a very light floral note, but I think I described it as if like, and tell me if you agree with me, Gabe. Um, like if you're in a tropical, like on an island or like tropical destination and you can kind of smell the flowers like when the wind blows you can smell a little bit of fruit and flowers It's very very clean it nice. has yeah it has a very um light floral note but it's very very clean so i love it, it kind of reminds me of like sierra or something but it smells really really good so i think because the colors in this soap are just so very gentle i think the fragrance fits it perfectly absolutely guys Oh, man, I just, I got some great, great, great ideas. And thank you all. I want to say, too, um, thank you so much for all of those of you who do follow me on Instagram. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can find all that information in the section below. I'm on Tumblr, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Five social medias. Oh, no, I didn't just do that. Yes, I did. But I didn't do anything. I lift my arm up without moving my soap. But yeah, I post a couple of uh, photos there and guys, forgive me. I told you once before, I'm not very, very familiar with Instagram. I do have an account, but I haven't learned fully how to use it. I'm learning as I go. So if you send me like a message or leave a comment and I don't respond immediately, it's because I'm trying to figure out how to do that. <laughs> 
and Hunter's never really around to help me. But, you know, I managed to figure it out in most cases. So, don't think I'm ignoring you. And all those of you who have just went through all of my pictures and Instagram and liked them, thank you so, so much. I greatly appreciate it. That's just awesome. And this bar of soap is just gorgeous. I love that. I thank you guys just always following me all over social media. You guys rock. I tell you that all the time, but you totally do. So, thanks again for that. I just thought that was so cool. I posted, I think, like maybe uh, four maybe four or five soaps and for three days my Instagram has just been going crazy <laughs> so thank you thank you thank you and I hope to just you know find more of you on Instagram uh follow you and you follow me and we just have an Instagram good old time but yeah I'm, I'm Snapchat I don't know if I'll ever get into that because that I totally don't understand but maybe one day but here you go that is just really pretty that is a gorgeous gorgeous soap so of course i am going to call, uh, call it you know i could leave it um alapuhi and seaberry i might because i just kind of like the name for the, the look of this soap i think it just kind of fits so it might stick unless you know i just cross it and just like you know what no i want to be named this and then we'll change it but let's just say for now that's going to be the name of the soap and I still did kind of get what I wanted because I wanted mostly whites on the sides and then the color in the middle. So I did get that. And this is really pretty. And I do have some, um, what's the word am I looking for? Hmm. <laughs> what? I just, I can't, for some reason, I can't seem to remember terminology in soaping, but, um... I'm sure it'll come to me but when you use uh, TD and you get a crackling in your soap I can't think of the name of it but if you can see that a little bit but you know what I don't mind it I actually think it improved the look on this soap so I'm very very happy that it did do that <laughs> so yeah no problems there I really do like the look of that most definitely and why can I think of what that glycerin rivers oh geez <laughs> yeah that's what I was trying to think of glycerin rivers I don't always dislike glycerin rivers. You know, some people are just like, oh, I hate them in my soap. But I sometimes think it just improves the look of the soap. It just gives it a little bit more character. And most definitely in this case, it has. So I'm glad I did get the little rivers there. Sure, sure is happy about it. Sure is happy about it. Boy, somebody needs to go back to school. <laughs> I am very happy about it. <laughs> All right. So we're coming down to the last cuts. And then I got like some awesome soaps up my sleeve. And I did tell Michael, I did state on uh, my, um, um, I can't think of anything today for some reason. My cucumber melon soap, I did tell him if I was asked a bunch for that soap, then I was going to have to steal the idea and put it in my store. So I'm most definitely going to do that because of quite a few of you have asked me, please, please, please put it in your store. So I will be making that, um, Sorry, got hair in my mouth. Making that this weekend. Um, I'm probably, yeah, I'm not going to film it just because you guys already saw me make it. And it's probably, I mean, pretty much going to be the exact same soap. You know, the swirl is going to be a bit different, but you get it, okay? So expect to see that coming soon as well. All right, so here's the last cut right here. And the back is just okay, but I do like the colors. I do, I do. So there you have it. This is Awapuhi and C well Awapuhi Sea Berry. And uh, if you're interested in this fragrance, you can most definitely find it at Rustic Essentials. It behaves beautifully. Uh, no acceleration. The acceleration that came from so was because I was mucking around, had nothing to do with the fragrance. But it was still just very easy to work with. Um, no discoloration as you can see. I know in a couple of days I'll be able to tell the color changes, but I can most definitely say there's only been two fragrances from Rustic Essential that I had a slight color change, not much. And I mean, if it has uh, vanillin in it, of course you know it's going to change. So, guys, that is it. That is all. If you're just joining my channel, welcome. I am so glad that you are here. I am Kenny the Messy Soaper, and if you watch my videos, I'm sure you saw the video uh, when you first came to my channel. Of my bloopers video so now you know why i'm called the messy silver most definitely please do subscribe i would love to have you as part of my stinking awesome crew and if you like this video please do give a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated and thank you to my subscribers that's always there for me hugs and kisses guys you are amazing you know that i tell you all the time and i'll never stop telling you that so until next time always be amazing and awesome at everything you do and keep positive until next time see you later bye